Ooh. Next day, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Big Country Customs at you. I always don't know what to say here, but I'm coming back at you anyway. Anyways, if you like my content on the X-Carve, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Subscription would be awesome. Thank you so much for all of everybody's support. I just hit 500 subscribers. A lot of people may not be excited about that, but I'm pumped. Uh, what we're gonna do today is, because it is the next day, make Lumber Cheap again. Um, anyways, what we're gonna do today is configure the machine in easel we're going to surface our waste board and do a test cut so that's pretty exciting when i am surfacing the waste board it will be um it will have a dust shoe on it because mdf is messy and i don't want it to be messy so what we're going to dive into first is the configuration so be prepared to pause if you need to see what configurations you need to run um Let's get at it. All right, so I have here what is on the Inventables website. I could have wrote them down and acted like I did this all myself, but I'm not that kind of person, and I didn't. So here we go. Um, don't make the mistake I did earlier. I <laughs> I had all of this in there for the Z. Oh, no, this is for the X. I had all of this in there for the Z, but I didn't put any of this in there. So I started something, and it went near and hit the side. So it was moving about an inch and a half per, per when it was supposed to be moving an inch. So... Don't do what I did. Anyways, here are the configurations, and I'll show you uh, where you need to go to input these. For the Z, you'll be in the command line putting 102 equals 49.909, and then you'll also have to change the three, $3 value uh, from your current to the new. So if your current is seven, you'll put three equals three. And then if your current is three, like mine was, and probably most X-Carve users are, it's gonna be number uh, money sign three equals seven in the command line. So that's the two commands you'll need to put in for your Z. Moving over to here, you'll have two more commands to enter, and it's uh, dollar sign 100 equals 26.66, and then dollar sign 101 equals 26.66. I like to go back in and refresh just to make sure everything's saved. <clears throat> like I'm in here right now, I have my, um, let's see, I'm looking for 101 is 26.66, my 100 is 26.66, so those are good. And then my $3 is supposed to be seven. That's good, and what was the other one? It was 102, it is 49.909, 102, 49.909. So I'm good to go. I'm gonna attempt this carve again. Um, and hopefully not slam my machine into the side over there. I might throw that clip in here just for fun, but I, I, I actually know I can't cause I deleted that video cause I got mad. But anyways, I did mess up. That means you can too. So make sure you double check everything. Uh, hopefully this, uh, surfacing goes smoothly now. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is how you actually get to the screen that you can put commands into. Uh, and the commands would just be typed in here, starting with dollar sign. So what you gotta do is um, go to machine and then advanced. And then once you get into advanced, you click machine inspector. And what that's gonna do is bring up this. And you can even test your limit switches and your, your pause and run button. I mean, it's kinda cool that you can test all that stuff. So I'm gonna try this again wish me luck all right i set up everything manually now i'm cutting this surface to 29 by 29 and a half or maybe a 29 and a quarter um so hopefully everything lines up right i'm gonna have my hand on the stop button just in case uh, make sure you guys are checking your v-wheels before you make any carbs because or before you do this make sure they're all nice and tight snug not too tight because you don't want to crack them but just fill them when they stop to turn you're done don't don't crank them on there okay uh and when I, i'm talking about adjusting these little nuts here don't know what they're called don't care i just know what they do and that's all that matters so let me make sure my bit isn't gonna hit my dang dust cover so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on everything I'm going to time lapse this, but it's going to be, uh, 
uh, with the dust shoe on there, unfortunately, because MDF is gross. We'll see how this goes. All right, I did three passes, two sideways to remove material, and then I had, you know, everybody has like the little lines that you can barely feel. So I decided to do it this way too, without removing any extra. I removed 0.4 um, total, uh, 0.2 per pass. That might not add up. It's because I did 0.2 on the first pass, and then I just used the same zero, took off 0.4 on the second pass, and then use the same zero again going this way and took off, well, it says 0.4, but I didn't take anything off. This is hella smooth, guys. Um, I didn't want to go too deep. I know this is still here, but whatever. And uh, this, you can see the old line here. My old machine was not the best and I could not, well, I did this when I first got it, and I actually removed a lot of material in certain places, so I knew I've been working with a uneven work surface for a long time now. So this is par. So what I'm doing now is um, for a test cut, I have, and this is why I like easel, guys. I used a bunch of little shapes, and I just threw them in here to make something that I wanted. So this is my home point. I will set my machine up for my home point. That allows me to really see the edge of a piece of wood if it is thinner than a half inch. This will be cut from half inch MDF and uh, we're gonna do a little test cut here. So let me get everything set up. I'm gonna be using a uh, scrap for the bottom piece and then uh, I'm gonna do the glue and tape method to put the half inch MDF on top of my material or sorry, on top of the scrap piece in order to cut it without using tabs. I just wanna show you guys something real quick. I think one of the best reasons to get this upgrade bundle is because when you change in this bit, which I have my stepper motors locked when it's not in use. And if you want a video on that, let me know in the comments um, and I can make a video on that. So right now my machine will not move however hard, however hard I push it unless it slips on the belt. So I did that because these bit changes on the old X-Carve, man, they were a little, they were a little sus. Got to figure out how to get this bit in here. It's a little tight. I just had it in there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. So watch, I will not even move. And this thing I tighten on tight, it will not move this Z at all. And this is what the bit looked like that I used to surface. It's got two changeable blades and it seemed to do very, very well. It's like $25 on Amazon. For this video, I'm going to crank it up and you guys can skip through it. So I think I, it says 15 minutes on diesel and I'm going to try to get it to do it in seven. It says three times the material removal rate, and it says, uh, but that doesn't mean three times as fast. It'll do it about two times as fast from what I'm seeing. So I'm going to try to get it as close to seven minutes, maybe eight minutes as possible, and I'm going to let it run the whole time so you guys can see it. And when I say I just threw things together on here, oh, shoot. And when I like easel, literally look at all those shapes that I put in here. It don't take long, copy and pasted a bunch of zero depth things and covered up some lines because I copied this twice in order to keep it from cutting out that circle. Um, you know, I like moved it up here and put it exactly in line with these and then I just put some squares everywhere. So let me uh, 
set it up here so y'all can watch it carve. And I'm not gonna use the, um, okay, my phone just did something, whoa. Okay, I'm not gonna use the dust shoe so you guys can watch this as it carves and we'll talk about it. All right, I like to try to put um, this, I like to try to probe where like the middle of my cut's gonna be. I think that's the most accurate, even though we just flatten this, it doesn't take any crap out of this, as in flat wise. So even though this board is sitting really flat, still could have a, you know, could be higher back here or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is probe it in the middle of where my carver's gonna be and uh, get to cut. Probe still reaches. Don't don't worry about that. I was scared about that. Don't worry about it. That's the regular stock probe. All right, I'm gonna get this X lined up. Now I'm gonna start cutting. Since I'm gonna take the speed up, I'm gonna take it up to probably about three speed on the router. I don't really know what um, speed to run the router at, but that should be good enough. If it needs a little more juice, I can adjust on the fly. Which is awesome. And it is making a mess. It's very accurate, I can tell too. Like, way more accurate than my other X, well, this X card, but without this. There's not any shaking in it. The stiffeners seem to really do their job. The only thing I wish Easel was better with was pull paths. Like, why does it have to keep going back and forth like that? Why can't it start on another line? I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> Let me show you guys the uh, 
We got it on 170%. Probably could go faster. Let's try that. Four minutes left. 15 minute car, taking seven minutes here. And probably even faster if we would just do that line all with all the other ones.
I don't get it. They're easy to use to heat the burn. finish it but 15 minute carve in seven minutes now i gotta clean up the only other thing about this thing i'll say because the video is coming to conclusion if you get the upgrade kit so far for me very very well worth it it's accurate it's it's fast beefy i did have to move my dust collection from the back to the middle of my table over here and I don't think, oops, I, I accidentally stopped recording there. But uh, I put a little spacer so that it clears the motor as it's moving. But you guys can do that or however you need to to move your dust collection. Um, you can even put it on the back back there. But like I said, with this hose, that wouldn't work because this gets in the way and it can get really tight really fast. So be mindful of that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys... The MDF dust off the camera there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, whatever. I'm going to be putting some more X Carve content out in the future. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Big Country out.